Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. This will this um and this tutorial will answer a functions question and this will be for IB SL mathematics. Um I'll be doing this on the spot, so yeah. Uh hopefully you guys will see how I'll tackle this. So first question, seven A show that the inverse of f equals three to the power of two x. Alright, so um, the original equation f of x or um, y equals log base 3 uh, square root x and we can write the formula of log a b equals c and this is equivalent to a to the power of c equals b that is key right here so if we use this formula and transpose it and apply it uh, 7a log a b equals c so we know that um a what's a a is three three to the power of sorry sorry um three to the power of y equals square root of x so in this case we have to make <clears throat> x the subject because show that the inverse of f equals 3 to the power of 2x. So we'll try to make x the subject. So how do we do this? We just square this function. So simply um, x equals 3y squared and from the formula of am this is fundamental principle of indices we can just times these two together hence x equals 3 to y and as we made x a subject we can get back to the original equation so the inverse of x equals 3 to the power of 2x and that is your answer all right now write down the range of f of minus 1x a fundamental concept that we all need to understand is that the domain this is domain the domain of f of x equals the range of f inverse x and similarly um similarly the range of f of x equals the domain of f minus 1x as f and f minus 1x is basically an inverse, I mean a reflection in the line y equals x, that's why. So when, we write, when we're asked to write down the range of f minus 1x, it's just the domain of f of x, which is the exact same thing, but we change the x to y since it's a range, so y is greater than 0. Alright, so... Question C. Find the value of f minus 1 g2. So in this case, we have the, a, a sample of a composite function. All right. So the first step is to plug g into f minus 1 of x. That's step number one. Step number two is then to put 2 into this particular whatever this is all right so let's get started so we uh, g g is a log base 3x and f minus 1 is 3 to the power of 2x so we put that wherever x is so um, 3 2 times log 3 ooh sorry log uh, oh no that's not good let's just write it here um, 3 times 2 uh, log 3x is 2. So from here we can um, understand that this right here, this, this here is f minus uh, inverse of f which is basically the step uh, you're putting g into the inverse of f. So what 
our second step we have to do is substitute two in there. So um, as we substitute two, this would be a three to the power of uh, two log uh, base three two, and from using one of the log rules, we can bring up the base. Uh, bring bring up the number in front. So three to the power of log base three. Ooh, sorry. Base three two square. All right. From from this step onwards we can deduce that this also equals 3 to the power of log base 3 um, 4 and this right here it's actually a number you can input this in a calculator and this would actually give you the answer which is uh, 3 to the power of log 4 divided by log 3 which gives you the answer of four directly four all right if you want to know why this is four i think we can normally when we log stuff we get it in this particular form when we're trying to find out what this value is for example x now let's try to reverse engineer so using log a b equals c is equivalent to a c equals b we can try to reverse engineer this process so let me do this again so we know that x where is that x or oh, sorry say this value what's c we know that c equals log 4 over log 3 so if we reverse engineer like I said earlier and let's experiment with this log 4 equals C log 3 and remember when you have a log 3 you can bring the power back up so log 4 equals log 3 to the power of C hence you can unlog both sides so 3 to the power of C equals 4. There you go. That's the actual explanation. If log, lo, if it's um, log 4 divided by log 3, we can infer that C, um, 3 to the power of log 4 over log 3 equals 4. Therefore, 4 is the actual answer. You don't have to actually do this process, but this is just a further explanation. Therefore, um, giving your answer as an integer. It's four. That's your answer. Thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial has helped you.